Hello, today we're going to talk about the ABCD caption formula for yearbook. I've chosen a photo I've taken from my advanced computer class, one that we used in the 22 yearbook uh, to use for our example today. I'm going to change the names of the students in question just because I'm posting this on YouTube. All right, so let's get into the ABCD caption formula. First of all, let's talk about the parts of this formula. Uh, we have, ooh, I'm doing something weird with my text here. Uh, we have the A, which is the attention getter. We have B, which is the basic information. C, which is the complementary information. And then, if possible, a direct quote. So we would like to have a, a caption that... The, uh, captures what's happening in the photo and then can go on to uh, give us some more information about what's happening. So let's start with, um, you would think you would start at the beginning. I actually like to start with the basic information. So let's go ahead and start there. The basic information asks for three things. It asks for who, what, and where. Who, what, and where. Uh, so the where is uh, my class, specifically my advanced class. Now, there are several ways we can represent this in the yearbook. We can say in Mr. Kurt Victor's class. We can say in advanced computers. We can say in room 301. There's not really a wrong answer for that. Uh, however, you want to represent where this is occurring. In the yearbook, we said uh, in Mr. Kurt Victor's class. Um, by the way, as we're mentioning names, it's probably worth mentioning how we represent names. If you're talking about an adult, the first time you mention the adult, it's the courtesy title, first and last name. Uh, subsequent times you mention the same adult, we're going to drop the first name and it's just Mr. Victor or courtesy title and last name moving forward. Uh, for female teachers, we do try to figure out whether it's Miss, Ms. or Mrs. Uh, according to their preference. Uh, we try our best to, to uh, represent everybody the way they'd like to be represented. Uh, for students, it will be first name, last name, grade, and then subsequent times we mention them, it will just be first name. Uh, so uh, the what of this photo is in Mr. Victor's class. We also need to mention uh, who and what they're doing. So the who um, is going to be, uh, and again, I'm going to change the name. I'm going to say Andrew Harris. So the name change who's in seventh grade and uh, we also have Garrett and let's change this last name too we're going to say McLeod who is also a seventh grader so so here is the who uh, Andrew and Garrett and what are they doing they are I think I have too many spaces in there we don't want to do that obviously let's get rid of that uh, and what are they doing they are measuring the classroom uh, for a class project. Uh, specifically, they're going to be making a scale drawing uh, on the computer. So we're going to combine all this into one sentence uh, by saying, in Mr. Kurt Victor's class, uh, Andrew Harris and Eric McLeod um, measure, there's our verb, Uh, to make a scale drawing on the computer. Now, probably the most important part of this sentence, uh, beyond getting those three items right, the where, uh, the who, and the what, uh, is the verb. If the, your verb is boring, if you have a passive verb like is or was, uh, it's going to make people less interested. They're, they're probably not going to even finish reading the caption. What you want to do is find a, some action word that captures what's happening. If you take a look in that photo, that's what they're doing. They're measuring. Um, yes, you definitely want to stay away from passive verbs at all possible. So this is the B sentence in the caption. Who, what, where. It's an active verb. Uh, we're also going to put this in present tense because in the photo, the action is happening at this moment. Now, this might seem a little bit strange because when we get the yearbook, this action will have happened weeks or months ago. Uh, but in the photo, the, app, the action has been captured. So we're going to do this in present tense in the photo. So that is the basic information sentence. 
Next, we move on to the complementary information. That would be something that we do not see uh, in, um, in the photo, some additional piece of information. Now, in order to get this, you will have either needed to be at the event or you will have needed to interview uh, the people in question. Uh, and there's there's a number of directions we can take with this. You know, we can talk about what happened later in the class. Um, we can talk about um, something that happened immediately after or something that led up to it or another perspective. But but we want to give additional information. Um, I can say that uh, both of these gentlemen um, enjoyed the class and returned the following year to take yearbook. Uh, that could be one piece of complimentary information. Or I could talk about... Uh, another subsequent project they did, or if they they liked the photography project that we did better, something like that. So, so there will be another sentence we can write here. And this really is where you have the most freedom. Come up with something interesting, something that, that happened um, after the photo, perhaps, or, or something that happened resulting from the action in the photo. Um, I'm going to put both um, Andrew. Notice I'm just doing first names on a subsequent mention of the same students. And Garrett. Re, let's say signed up. And then finally, you're going to get some kind of direct quote where you're going to need to interview these gentlemen to find out what happened. Now, if these gentlemen are not available for comment or they're not interested, maybe you can find somebody else who was at the event who could weigh in on it. You know, could be another student, could be the teacher, could be somebody else, but find somebody who's got something to say. Uh, and most people love talking about themselves once you open it up. And, and as they start to talk, if they write down something, if they say something interesting, write it down. Um, I always like that you verify the direct quotes because I hate it when the yearbook comes out at the end of the year and people look at it and they say, oh, I never said that. Uh, so I find it's always best to get um, show them what you wrote down, get them to, to agree, yes, that's what I said. And if they can remember that there was that conversation that did get recorded after a fashion, then they're going to, to be appreciating seeing their words later. In this case, Andrew um, said something like, um, and I don't think I was the one who interviewed him, but I might have been. Uh, his words were, and notice I'm putting them in quotation marks because these are actually his words. We want to get them accurate. Uh, he said it was kind of boring um, measuring everything. Um, now, I, we don't always necessarily want to represent the class as boring or uninteresting, but we want to represent the truth. So let's go ahead and put in his quote. Um, and then we're going to uh, come back. Now that we've got the caption written, we're going to need to, to put in an attention getter. This is going to be short, a word, two words, three words that are going to grab people's attention and hopefully make them want to read it. And, and I noticed this is really a community project. The two guys are, are, are working in tandem. Uh, they seem to be cooperating well. So the attention getter we, we settled on was uh, working together. So we're going to combine all these. Let me get rid of the headers here. Uh, so working together, usually it's going to be represented in a different font, maybe even in a different color. Um, so it stands out. Uh, but the rest of this is going to be combined into uh, one caption. So in the yearbook, it's going to look something like this. Like I said, this will probably turn into a different color, depending on the color scheme we're using, maybe even be bold or italic. Uh, so working together. In Mr. Victor's class, that's the, the where. Uh, Andrew and Garrett, that's the who. Measure uh, the classroom to make a scale drawing on the computer. That is the what. And notice it is using an active verb. Uh, both Andrew and Garrett signed up for the yearbook collective next semester. Now notice I switched to the past tense on the sentence because as we're considering what happened after the fact or beyond the photo, then we're actually reflecting back on events that happened weeks or months ago. So we're, we will switch to past tense for the C sentence. And then for the direct quote, uh, assuming we find something worthy to be printed, we're going to use the exact words as best we can. So this is the ABCD uh, caption formula that we will be using to write our captions for interesting photos in the yearbook. 
By the way, it might be worth saying when we actually printed this caption in the yearbook, um, the C sentence, there wasn't really room for it. So we actually did trim this part out. But for the most part, we, we want to tell good stories. So uh, we, as much as we can, we'll be using the entire ABCD caption.